the one thing that I heard you both say, which uh, in addition to the timing is probably uh, the most important is you, you both found and identified key partnership relationships to help make this work. Um, I talk to a lot of entrepreneurs and business people and the ones who tend to be most successful are not the ones who stand up on stage and talk about how they conquered the hill alone, right? It's the ones that talk about how they worked collaboratively with, with others, which is both a plug for my own business model with the GCNC, but also um, I think really key to um, shortening timelines, ensuring that you've got the regional and local expertise you need. So if there was one area that you looked at or you were advising somebody who's looking at um, this path where they should really seek out um, partners and additional expertise based on your own experiences, um, what, would that, what would that be? Um, I, I think it's helpful to encourage people on the front end to fill the gaps, right, where they can. So I'm just curious how you'd answer that. I'm happy to go first. If we dive first, you want, yeah. So, you know, from my perspective, it would be having a partner that understands the regulatory landscape and just understanding regulations in general, uh, whether it be regulations in your home country, whether it be regulations in the country that you're looking to export to. In this case, if you're looking at Germany, just understand, have a partner that understands everything that's going to be required for you to make sure you can reverse engineer your product that will actually meet the requirements in Germany. They, and do not underestimate you know, that process and what it entails. It doesn't matter if you've got the best cannabis out there that you're able to grow, but if you can't actually register that product in Germany, you're not gonna be able to sell it and don't underestimate the challenges that come in. So a partner that understands that. Yeah, and in your partnerships, were those relationships that mostly ended up being sort of vendor relationships or these or do these folks now have equity positions in the companies? Uh, so they have equity positions uh, in the company. It's, uh, I would say it's advisable to ensure that your interests are aligned with your partner's interests and, and being joined at the head from a, an equity position certainly helps in that perspective. So our, the partnership specifically that I'm referring to both in Germany and in Malta are both equity, equity relationships and partnerships. Okay. Great. And, and Flita, how about for Little Green Pharma? Ah, oh, that looked the same. Absolutely. Um, you know, I, I would recommend looking for a partner that's got that regulatory background for sure. And you are completely mad if you think you can work it out on your own from scratch, you know, not having come from a pharmaceutical background. So you need to partner with and find somebody, preferably even with a narcotics background, because it just gives you that extra edge working with those, um, those scheduled substances. And then even better, um, in the countries that you're wanting to import into to have somebody on the inside there that understands you know, there's one thing understanding your own country's regulatory system but then looking at another country's system is completely different their framework is different so having somebody on the inside there would be uh, very helpful as well um, and also the uh, the other person or group that i would recommend is a a life sciences or life science um, legal firm or entity because we've spent most of our funds on well, not only compliance, but certainly legal costs. So understanding um, you know, frameworks and legal positions. So even on the marketing front, I mean, gosh, we haven't even talked about the marketing front and the restrictions that are uh, imposed upon unregistered medicines such as, such as cannabis. And if you go into you know, Germany, Australia, UK, anywhere starting to market cannabis medicines, you know, you, you've got another thing coming. So um, to understand what you can and can't do is absolutely important. So they're the two, the two or three areas that I would recommend. Yeah, being a marketer by trade myself, um, those, it always gives me huge headaches figuring out who can say what where around the world. 